Hi, this is the tutorial. I'm going to show you how to wrap text around the image on MailChimp. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to this URL section and simply type mailchimp.com and hit the enter button. And that should take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen. Of course, if you have an account, you can simply go and click at login into your account. So you can actually enter your name or user's name or email, then password. Then you can log in into your account. If you don't have an account, you can actually scroll down here and see all the plans that they have. They have the three paid plans and one pre plan. Once you choose whatever plan suits you, let's use this as an example. They're going to get you to the section where you can actually create your account. As you can see, let's just click add to this free plan, sign up for free or sign up free. And that should take you here. Simply just enter your email, username and password, then click on sign up. Let me do that and I'm coming back. So now you have to check your email by just going to your email and activate it by the message that they're going to send you. Once you activated your account, you'll find yourself here again. So let's just click at continue free. Here, you'll have just to enter your first name, last name. So let's just enter those. That is uh, like suggested for me and click on next. Of course, the phone number is just optional. And here, of course, you'll have to enter your address, thanks and etc. So let's just enter those, click on next. And here, of course, you'll have to answer some questions. If you don't want to, it's cool. You can just keep pressing, pressing and at next, as you can see. But the first one, you should actually just answer it and you will see the rest of them. You can actually cl keep clicking at skip. Once you finish, click on finish. And as you can see, once you click on let's go, you will find yourself on the home screen of the MailChimp website. So as we said in the beginning of the tutorial, is we would like to wrap text around an image. So let's just go and create an email as an example. Let's just click on design email. And let's just choose a simple theme once the page is loaded. So let's just go to theme. Let's just choose this as an example. And let's just wait. So once we are here, we will have to drop like a text block in here and edit this text block. So here, all we need to do, just click on this content studio. So let's just delete this. Click on this content studio. As you can see here, I can actually upload an image. So I do have this image here. I can actually like edit it or whatever, or insert it here in this text. And as you can see, once it's inserted, I'll have to click save and insert. Oh, wait before that. So let me just de delete it. I'll actually have to do something. Now click on edit image first. And that should take me right here. Of course, let's just lower the dimension of this image. The, the dimensions that's actually required is 100 uh, per 300. So let's just do that and click on save. Let's just try to insert it now. And let's see if it's going to be the same big. Anyway, here you will have to click at show image style options. And here on this align, make sure to, uh, to select left, center, or right. Where do you want the text to wrap around? So let's just choose left as an example, then click at insert image. And now we can simply go and write our text. And as you can see, my text is actually wrapping around the image. It's not in the image. Because I choose on left, the picture is on left. Of course, if I choose center, the picture will be center and the text will be on right and left. And if I choose right, the text will be on uh, the right, sorry, on the left of the image. And I'm going to be good to go after I click and save and close. So this will be actually for the tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.